Been a few hours, but it felt like days Only been days, but it felt like months Been gone for a year, only go like once Life moves fast when you do Good morning, guys, and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Lacey. I am a middle school teacher, and I just wanted to hang out with you guys today and bring you along with me for a day in my life as a teacher. So today is a little bit weird because it is Wednesday. It's the 23rd, and this is my first day of work in a while. We had fall break all last week, the 14th through the 18th, and then I got a call saying I had to go back to jury duty. So I had to miss Monday and yesterday, which was Tuesday for a court case. They chose their people, they didn't need me. So I am able to go back to work, but it feels weird. I kind of feel out of practice because I have not worked in like a week and a half. But I'm gonna get to work early because I first of all need to check with the sub. I bought candy for the kids because they've had to deal with me being out four times this month for jury duty and I just wanted to reward them. So I'm not gonna reward bad behavior. So I am gonna check with the sub first. I also wanna get there early to kind of get my room back in order. I had a really good sub, but you just never know how your room is gonna look when you have been out. And I also am gonna stop by Starbucks and I know it seems like I get Starbucks or crumble every single vlog, but I promise in real life, it's like once a week. I need a little boost of energy and I wanna celebrate being done with jury duty finally. So I'm going to bring you along with my day. I am pretty much done with my makeup. Just gonna fix my eyebrows and then we will head out the door and start our day. I'll show you my outfit before we go. Very casual. I didn't feel like being super cutesy today. Um, so I will show you that before I head out the door. Here's my casual outfit of the day. I kind of went for street style today. Some days I'd be wanting to be cute and some days I kind of dress like the kids like today. This graphic tee is from Shein. These leather pants are also from Shein and I am going to be wearing black dunks. In the mornings, it is still pretty chilly, so I will put this on so I can not be cold, but when I leave work, it's going to be hot. So it's that time of year where literally it'll be 46 in the morning and 76 in the afternoon. So it's definitely the layering time of year. This is also from Shein, who's surprised? So I'm gonna put my shoes on. I just put on my perfume. I finished my makeup, did my hair, and I am going to head to Starbucks and then we will head to work and get everything back in order. I made it to my classroom and I am unpacking the candy. Got some blow pops, Tootsie Roll pops, um, and then a whole bunch of random assortments of candy. And I did talk to the sub. There's one class that gave her issues so they will not be receiving candy. I am not gonna reward bad behavior so I am gonna reward the other classes and it is what it is. Um, I need to find some sort of bucket to put the candy in because I do want to open it up and have it ready. Um, and then I need to head up front to get a form because we're supposed to fill out forms when we miss work. But obviously we were on fall break last week and that's when I found out I had jury duty. So I have not been here to fill out the form. So I'm going to have to do that now. I also have the jury duty paperwork to attach to that form. So I'm going to handle that paperwork stuff and then I will be right back in my room. This is from Monday. I actually came early Monday morning because I hadn't seen the kids all week because of break last week. I did want to see them. Plus, I had nothing ready for a substitute. Again, I found out I was doing jury duty over my break. I didn't even have my computer at home. So I did come for like an hour on Monday and I did get the kids started on their activity. I'm erasing this. Once this dries, I will write the new stuff. We are gonna do the rap song activity today. I kind of mentioned it, but we're going to listen to a Rod Wave song and a Kendrick Lamar song, and they are going to make some connections between the songs and some distinctions. Kind of like comparing and contrasting the songs, and I figured music's a little more fun than just reading something. We all know they don't like to read, so. That is the plan for the day. Also, Wednesday is our library day, so it's kind of a lot going on because I'm playing catch up. I'm gonna write all that down. I also need to change the dates on the board, which I'll show you in a second because they're all a little bit off as well. Before break, I thought I was being so smart, getting so ahead, writing all these dates on the board. I have this week plan, next week plan, and obviously because I was out two days, everything got messed up. So I need to change some of these dates like I said, we're doing the rap song stuff today, so I changed that to today's date. Um, our quiz got moved because I haven't been here to teach them, so the quiz got moved back 
I have to have the same quiz as the gifted language arts teacher. So I already spoke with her about that. Um, this is Friday's date. I think this is still set. Picture day, makeup, that's the same. This is what they were supposed to do Monday. This was just a fun activity after the break. But I think, honestly, we'll do this next Friday, literally November. So that's going to be the tentative date. And then the I Ready lesson is going to be tomorrow. So as you can see, I did replan everything. I have everything in mind, but I had to change it on the board because the kids are very visual. The first type of connection is text to self. Self-explanatory. So that's a connection between something you read, a text, to your own life experiences. Second type of connection is, of course, text to text. Connecting two texts together based on similar topics. Like I said, if we read an article about college football and pro football, we would definitely be able to connect the text together, some of their ideas, what are some things that they have in common. Text to world, connecting something you read to real world events. Like I said, we're gonna do something with music today and I tried to choose specific songs that are a little more deep. Some songs are just songs singing about silly stuff, but a lot of songs really are deep. It's lunch time now. I just walked the kids to the lunchroom and honestly, I'm not that hungry, but I am going to heat up my lunch because I don't have planning till two o'clock. So I'm sure I'll be starving by then. It's been a good day so far. The kids love the fact that I'm using Rod Wade, Kendrick Lamar, and you know, people who are relevant. So it's definitely going super well today. I showed this in the last teacher vlog, but we are looking at Call Your Friends by Rod Wave and then looking at Crown by Kendrick Lamar. And they are filling out this little chart. You saw me film a little teaching clip, teaching them the text to text, text to self, text to world. Those are three types of connections that we're gonna focus on this week. So I had them compare the two texts then they had to apply the songs to themselves and then apply it to the world. And it's just a quick 15, 20 minute activity, but it's going super well since it's relevant. I'm in planning now and everything went super well. Some kids, you know, try to say, oh, I don't like Rod Wave, I don't like Kendrick, whatever. I told them it's not about the artist, it's about the lyrics. We're focusing on their ideas, you'll be all right. So honestly, it went super well and I like to do stuff like this to introduce something new. Today was a new standard, introducing something new, and I didn't feel like making them read a boring article. I try to be unconventional and I try to kind of speak their language, which is why I chose the Rod Wave song and a Kendrick song. So it went really well. Even though I missed the past two days, I honestly am right on track because next week is pretty much planned. I haven't typed it up yet, but I did already have stuff in mind. They have a quiz one day next week. Next week is also Halloween, so they have a Halloween activity. I already kind of have stuff in mind for next week, so since I'm on planning, I am going to start typing it up, but overall, a really good day. I have like 15 minutes till the kids come back, so I'm gonna turn on a little show for them because that's what I always do in the afternoons, and I need to write the stuff on the board for tomorrow because you guys know I always get ready for the next day, the day before. I just pulled up my Watch Later playlist, so my teacher hack for watching TV shows is I pretty much save them all in bulk and I put them in my watch later playlist on YouTube. So when one ends, the next one starts. I typically do Disney Channel like Big City Greens, Gravity Falls, Phineas and Ferb, just anything I can find free on YouTube. And while I'm up here, I am going to start writing the stuff on the board. I already wrote the warm up. We are gonna read an actual article tomorrow because of course, when it comes to standardized testing, listening to rap songs is not gonna be an option. So of course, when we are practicing a standard, I do have to expose them to eighth grade passages, eighth grade questions. So we're gonna do that as a class tomorrow. And then they have some computer work to do. So that will be pretty independent. Like I said, I'm honestly not too behind because I set myself up for success the past few weeks. So. While they're working, I can just start working on my lesson plan and stuff, but there's nothing that is super urgent. Don't lie with your voice there. What do you mean? Why would you say that? Guys, today honestly was really, really good. It was nice to see the kids again. They were all so sweet. I got so many hugs. I got so many people asking where I was at. And 
stuff like that just makes you feel appreciated and if you are a teacher you know this is a very thankless job so very good day the lesson went well everything honestly went super well i have no complaints and i'm headed home now i have to make a quick stop to return something to amazon because me and celeste are going to be hippies for halloween we have a halloween party this weekend and i ordered some earrings from Amazon that are peace signs. However, these are necklaces. So I'm gonna return these and then I'm gonna head home. But honestly, I don't feel exhausted. I don't feel tired. It was really, really a good day. So I will see you guys in the next vlog. I'm gonna end it here. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know. If you wanna see other ideas, also let me know. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.